I just say that was really boring. Yeah, I thought it would be more fun. Also, that Randy guy was so annoying. He kept mumbling and nodding every five seconds. It was distracting. He's so weird. Guys, let's focus. We have a job to do. Is Oswald a guilty or not? Sorry, guys. How do you use the bathroom? This place is like a maze. <laughs> There's supposed to be more jurors. I heard they couldn't find enough reliable ones around because the case was too famous. They were cut short of time, so they had to cut two guys, you know? Interesting. Well. Let's just say he's guilty and get out of here. I'm uh, bored. I'm fine with that. Hello, this is so important, you guys. Fine. What's all of this? Again. It was a murder weapon. A stone paperweight. It was the victim's. A porcelain doorstep. Found broken at the scene of the crime. Also the victim. A flask of peanut oil. It's important to note that the victim was indeed allergic to peanuts. And finally. A drag queen candle <laughs> that was unrelated to the victim. Back there. Let's stick to the facts. Whoever did this was clearly stupid, and Oswald was <coughs> He's an engineer for crying out loud. I say he's not guilty. Well, I think calling the murderer here stupid is a little harsh. He <laughs> killed someone. I don't think we should feel bad for being mean. Why do you say clearly stupid? Don't you remember? The prosecution said he tried to kill the victim with peanut oil. Apparently, he didn't know that people with peanut allergies aren't affected by peanut oil. So then, he took the stone paperweight and bashed in his head! I hear they're calling him the kindergarten killer. Okay, guys. I bet the person who did this had at least a bachelor's degree. I was probably really proud of it, too. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> it's it's got to be Oswald. His hair was left at the crime scene. Yeah, there's no other way he could have gotten them. Unless, you know, the murderer was a hairstylist and just so happened to have given Oswald a haircut right before committing the murder. <laughs> no, the hair is too obvious. It looked like a setup to me. I think that someone put this in place with a vendetta against Oswald and wanted to keep him in jail. You think Oswald was the target? Exactly! I don't know, that's too well thought out. This case is way too messy for that well orchestrated. Whatever. <laughs> Does anybody else know how to visualize this? I do! <laughs> Let me do it. Sheila, you're the dead guy. I'll be the murderer. So first, he takes the flask of peanut oil, saying it's apple juice or something. And then you take a sip. Then he notices that the victim does not die immediately. And so he takes the stone paperweight and bashes in the victim's head! Oh, my head! And then <laughs> they fall down onto the glass ceramic goose no, and break my it. Family <laughs> and there you have it, folks. I don't know. I feel like I would have done it differently. Be my guest. <laughs> well, first of all, I don't think the victim drank the peanut oil at all. The scent was too strong, and the victim would have noticed it first. So it doesn't even matter if he was allergic to it or not, which is an easy mistake to make. <laughs> not really. It has peanut in the name, OK? <laughs> Back to what happened. So obviously, the killer's <coughs> plan wasn't going right. And he was probably also having a really bad day, too. So he had to get creative. So he cleverly grabbed the victim's own paperweight and bashed it into the victim's head. The victim dies. So quickly, in fact, that he doesn't notice the porcelain goose door stop and he trips on it, breaking it. You think he fell on it? I don't know, it was in the way, okay? <laughs> I don't know if that would explain the candle. Another red herring. The prosecution said that it had to be Oswald, because he watched Drag Race a lot. But that still doesn't explain
time I was there, the church was like pro card. Okay, so hear me out. This may be a little bit of a stretch, but what if it's a good luck charm? What? You know, like a rabbit's foot or something. I bet Tr Tricky Mattel really inspires the killer with her self-confidence, so he has to take her everywhere, you know, for an extra bit of luck. <laughs> what? <laughs> You know, maybe he did it in a crime of passion, you know? When you're really mad and stuff, you kind of forget about important things like that. You know, like, what happens if it just so happened that the victim, you know, stole the killer's wife of 60 years and his mother of his children? And so, you know, after something like that, you know, you get really mad. And you don't even think that peanut oil actually affects people with peanut allergies. And you just go for it. <laughs> Just saying he's guilty and going home? Let's just do that. <laughs> Sounds good to me. You know, like, I bet you all have families and you don't want to keep time away from them. Sure. Time just isn't right. Too bad. <laughs> Dumb luck. <laughs> Vote says he's guilty. So, guilty? Guilty. 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 <laughs> Can't leave it again. <laughs>